When something seems a little too obvious, maybe a little too easy, you better be careful. In this week's episode of Clay Trader Mail, I want to change things up a little bit. Usually I take some sort of communication that has happened, whether it be a YouTube comment or an email or just whatever, but I want to focus on a, a tweet that was made on social media. And this has actually nothing to do with trading at all, but it does have to do with psychology and really illustrates the whole point of how the, the, the herd mentality, a bunch of sheep, a bunch of people following after something that seems to be just the no brainer decision can ultimately lead to a whole lot of pain and suffering. And this has to do with the world of sports betting and a little background context on this. I graduated from Ohio State, so several weeks ago, me and some buddies went down to Ohio State to watch the game, and we were documenting this on the vlog. If you're not familiar, I do run a vlog. I'll put a link down below. But you know, we documented all this, and before the game actually took place, we were all just commenting like, "This seems this is too easy." Like, I'm definitely doing you know choice A, and we all agreed choice A. That's what each of our individual plans would have been, and we just paper traded the bet. None of us put real money down, but we all thought that you know what this seems too good to be true. This seems like the very, very obvious thing. Long story short, let's just take a look at the tweet. So this guy on Twitter says, bad bet of the day, 89% of the money at 108 William Hill Sportsbook in Nevada was on Michigan State to cover as 17 and a half point underdogs. They lost by 45 to Ohio State. Think about that, 89%. And yeah, myself, my buddies that were in that video, we all fell in that 89%. But it's kind of weird because Las Vegas actually got it really wrong too because they weren't even close on it. But that just goes to show that when something is just, you, you, you never know, there are no guarantees. And as much as something may seem logical, it may seem like the right thing to do, and we're not I'm not talking about sports betting anymore, we're kind of back in the world of trading here, you gotta be very careful. And a lot of times you, you see stuff out there, you see marketing, you see you know people selling the dream, fancy cars, big houses, beautiful women, all sorts of fine dining. And yeah, is that possible? But at the same time, is it a little too good to be true? Yeah, they are taking what is possible in some situations and then they are really just expanding that out and trying to bring in as many people as possible and then all of a sudden people you know, get in these situations and they just figure out that it's not all what's made to be. Now I'm not saying that it's a total train wreck like it was for the people that just you know, took the bet and that's the thing with sports betting, it's very black and white, binary, right? You're right or you're wrong. But you gotta just be very aware of this in the market and, I, and really just life in general, right? If everybody is saying something is great and it seems a little too good to be true and it seems obvious, I'm not saying that it's not obvious, but I'm just saying always remember to take a step back and maybe do a little bit more analysis, do a little bit more consideration before fully pursuing down that path because as you saw here, 89%, nine out of 10 people got absolutely slaughtered on that bet because myself included, it, it yeah, seemed too to be true and I guess the one good thing myself and my buddies did, we didn't put any real money on it, uh, but it, it, yeah. Just be careful, tread lightly, especially in the world of trading where real money is involved. And stupidity, you know, just throwing yourself, being a mindless sheep can lead to pain. And not pain like, ow, all right, well that'll get better. No, but pain as in, I just lost money. Not a good feeling. So be aware of that. I thought that was just a, kind of a, an interesting t statistic that I was a, a part of and that you know, I documented f with the vlog and um, yeah. Don't be part of the sheep that just blindly follow after things. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link, so if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly 
what is going to you know be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything, and that way you'll know precisely what you are getting, uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know wanting to join a community. And let me know if you have any questions.